Hey, is that folk music that you play there? What is that? How do you call that folk music? <laughs> I think it was Studs Terkel who asked Big Bill Brunzi, did he consider his blues music to be folk music? And Big Bill says, well, I never heard, heard no horse <laughs> show is Horses Sing None of It. My name is Ralph Litwin and we're joined by a man who was the progenitor of the Pike Market street music scene in Seattle and was the first winner of the first annual Amsterdam Street Performer Festival and has recently moved to the East Coast to the Carolinas, I guess. That's right, North Carolina. And his name is P.K. Dwyer. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Ralph. I'm glad to be here. And that song was apropos of your, what I read in your bio about uh, a revelation that converted you to the blues. Hallelujah. Yes, I had a <laughs> conversion to the blues. You want to tell us a little bit about well, that? Well, um, I was actually, I was looking for a guitar, a Jimmy Reed model guitar. And uh, I had a big book of vintage guitars with a picture of it. Rather than uh, cart that book around with me, I decided to go buy a Jimmy Reed album so that I could have the you know CD, so I could have a little picture and take that around instead. And I put the I put the album on, and I just went, oh, I've been uh, 
I've been drifting too far from shore, you know, and that just, I, uh, I started, uh, I started writing all these blues songs, and uh, that was about five or six years ago, and uh, about three years ago, uh, I decided to be a solo acoustic jump blues uh, musician, and so that's what I've been doing. And you've played a lot of other kinds of music before in your long career. Well, I've written a lot of different kinds of stuff, rock and roll, folk music, cabaret, vaudeville stuff, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> well, give us another one. All right. Here's a song that's actually been on the MTV. I would not know that from watching MTV, but uh, they started sending me checks. <laughs> and that just that's a makes, good way me, to find out. makes me so happy. Almost as happy as the day I wrote this song called No Longer My Girlfriend. Come on, here, sugar, I got something to say. You're no longer my girlfriend now, you're my fiance. Boys, that's one thing I never thought I'd see. It's one thing I never, never thought I'd see. Me going down on one bed in me. Folks in London, it could be a trap. I believe that don't the load of crap. Come on, here, sugar, I got something to say. You're no longer my girlfriend, now you're my fiance. You're no longer my girlfriend, you're my fiance. You're no longer my girlfriend, now you're my fiance. And I guess that's dedicated to your lovely wife. It is indeed. My wife and manager. Not everybody gets a twofer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't stick my foot in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I had a question, but it spaced me out. So, <laughs> tell me what you want to play. Well, uh... Uh, I'd like to say that the first thing that happened after um, after I had my conversion to the blues was uh, I cut off my uh, waist length hair and I got a suit and a tie and I wore that suit and tie to every single uh, every single show that I did till I started playing summer festivals in desert towns and I actually thought that my head might blow up. <laughs> Like David Bromberg told us when he belted it out the news, you got to suffer if you want to sing the blues. And I've been suffering. I've... It's 95 degrees out, I got the black suit blues. <laughs> Went to the rule book to see if there was one. It's 95 degrees out, I got the black suit blues.
Yeah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So did you grow up in Seattle? Uh, I grew up in the uh, Bay Area, around San Francisco, just outside of San Francisco. Moved up to Seattle when I was about 15 or 16. Lived there a lot of years. I've lived all over the place, but I probably lived in Seattle more than any other any other place. But I've lived in Europe and uh, on the East Coast and L.A. and all over the place. So you must know Mr. Spoons. Oh, Artist? Artist the Spoon yeah. Man? Absolutely. I've known him for 35 years. When, when I was hitchhiking through there, I played the, the Pike Market and he came up and played with me. All right. All right, yeah, he's great. He's completely <laughs> he's revolutionized the spoons, <laughs> yeah. Well, give us another one. All right. You know, sometimes you get the blues so bad, you don't know whether to laugh or cry. I always try to opt for the former myself. Here's a little number called them MF Blues. I got the blues so bad, I almost wet my pants. I got the blues so bad, I almost wet my pants. My baby don't come back and give our love another chance. I got the blues so bad, I asked if I just take a drink. I got the blues so bad, I might just have a drink. I ain't touched it in 10 years, I'm going to have one now, I think. I got the blues so bad, I found my poor Don dead. I got the blues so bad, I found my poor Don dead. I cried for good Lord, should have taken me instead. I got the blues so bad. I got the blues so bad. I got the blues so bad I damn near almost wet my pants. Up. Yeah. Thank you. Well, let's tell folks how they can get in touch with you in case they want to find out about your recordings, your travels, your performances, etc. They can write to you at pk at pkdwyer.com. And for more information, they can visit www.pkdwyer.com. Absolutely. What you got? What's the name of your uh, your most recent recording? Um, uh, blues guy now. But uh, here's one that I just have a new one coming out. It's being manufactured right now, and uh, it's called Healed, and it should be out at the end of December, and uh, you can get that at the same at the same. Uh, E dress. Here's a song from it. A uh, song about something that's uh, hurting us all, but it's really killing the semi successful traveling musician. It's called the Gypsy Blues. <laughs> Choose. They think we're trash.
trash, but the truth is we got the gypsy blues. Oh, babe, I hate to say it, but you can bet your ass pretty soon we'll need a damn payment on a gallon of gas. we cruise Seems like things were better back then But we got the gypsy blues Oh, babe I hate to say it But you can bet your ass Pretty soon we'll need A damn payment on a gallon of gas yeah, pretty soon we'll need a damn payment on a gallon of gas. We had one guest who solved that problem by converting her truck to uh, run on vegetable oil that she picks up at uh, Chinese restaurants and fast food places. Biodiesel. Yeah. Well, we have a we have a motor home, but it just it's an old one and it runs on gasoline and lots of it. Unfortunately, most people are stuck with that kind of situation. What else would you like to do for us? Well, here's a song that I was lucky enough to play at my very own wedding called The Celebration Blues. <laughs>
think we got time for two more. All righty. Um, speaking of the Pike Place Market in Seattle, uh, here's an old street singer's lament because I am an old street singer. It's called Please Don't Make Me Beg. <laughs> Don't make me beg Please Don't make me beg All I want Is just what you got Check your pants pocket Yeah, that's what I thought Oh, come on now Don't leave me flat Buy a CD or drop a buck in the hat Tell folks one more time they can find out more information about you at www.pkdwyer.com. Yes, indeed. And uh, we're going to jam out on a little number in the key of C That's and the key, key of, of G. G, C harmonica, called Don't You Know. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Sorry that you had to go. I'm so sorry that you had to go. It's that damn job, you know. Don't worry, we'll see each other tomorrow, I swear. Don't worry, we'll see each other tomorrow, I swear. Yes, we will. I do the Something fun. 
I've a feeling that thug is just begun. Then we'll probably go nuts like we always do. Probably we'll go nuts like we always do. So good. Have a love. Yeah, you're always with me, don't you know? <laughs>